Welcome to the Managing the Confirmations List webinar. In this webinar, we will cover how to use the confirmation list to track and manage appointment confirmations, as well as how to communicate with patients from the confirmation list. The confirmation list in Open Dental is located here in the upper left corner under your Select Patient button when you're in your appointments module. It is the second list in the available options. So if we go ahead and click on this confirmations button here, it will open up our confirmations lists. We have various filter options available to us. Most important one is generally the date. This date applies to the date of the appointment. So if you're wanting to confirm appointments out to the end of the month here, you would just go ahead and change your to date to near the end of the month whenever you're wanting to get those appointments confirmed. And then you would press the refresh button here on the bottom. The appointments list does not automatically refresh for you. You will always have to click the refresh button to get it to refresh. One nice thing here about the window is that this is a non-modal window in Open Dental. What that means is you're able to minimize this window and continue working on anything that you need to work on while that window is open in the background. The next filter option that we have here is status. This refers to the appointment status. So if we only want to see appointments that we have not called on yet, we can change the status to not called and we can again hit the refresh button and see that we've only not called our patient Jimmy here. We can do the same thing to see if we left any messages for any patients about their appointments. We can add or edit these appointment confirmation statuses here in Open Dental. That is available here under Setup, Definitions, and then Appointment Confirmed. Here you are able to add any of these confirmation statuses. So if I wanted to add a new confirmation status here, I can just click this Add button here on the bottom and choose my name and abbreviation. You can also change the color associated with that confirmation status. These colors show on the appointments when you have the appointment confirmed color set to show on your appointment views. If we go back to our appointments list here, and we go back to our confirmations list, we can also see that we can decide what type of appointments we want to see here in our confirmation list. Do we want to see only recall appointments? These are designated as recall appointments if they have a hygiene procedure attached to them. So if we go ahead and set it to recall only and we refresh again, looks like we don't have any recall only appointments in this date range. We can change the date range and see if we possibly have some out further. It looks like we do have one on the 20th of this month. We also have the other types of appointments that we can choose from here. We have the exclude recall which will only show appointments that do not have a procedure that is indicated as is hygiene on the procedure code. So we'll only have appointments that do not have any hygiene procedures on them. And our third option here, I'm sorry, our fourth option here is hygiene pre-scheduled. This will only show you any appointments that have a hygiene procedure attached to them that were scheduled at least two months in advance of the appointment. This looks like we don't have any that fit that criteria available. If we go back and look at our recall only appointment, this one was only scheduled 14 days before its appointment time, not two months, so it does not fit the criteria. The next thing that we can filter our confirmations list by is by provider. This is the provider attached to the appointment. So if we only wanted to see patients with this provider's appointments, we can go ahead and choose that provider and again hit refresh on our list. It will only show patients with that provider assigned to the appointments. The next thing that we are able to filter our confirmation list by is clinic. 
This filter option is only available if you have your clinics feature enabled in Open Dental. If you don't, this filter option will be hidden. You can decide if you only want to see unassigned clinics or patients that are not assigned to a clinic, if you only want to see patients that are assigned to clinic A, or if you only want to see patients assigned to clinic B. You also have the option to view all patients. So we change this to all here. It shows that we have more appointments to confirm than we did earlier. We can also look and see what does clinic A have. These are the appointments for clinic A. The next option in our filter options is group families. What this checkbox does is if there are multiple patients in the same family on this confirmations list and you decide to send them a email or text communication, it will send them one message for the family instead of multiple messages for the family, one for each patient. You can edit the messages that are sent via email or text here from the confirmation list. That is available here under Setup, Appointments, Confirmations. Here we can see that there are two message types per mode of communication. There's the first message here that is for a single patient, and the second message here that is for a family of patients. You can also edit these messages if you would like. And just double click here and edit what's written here in your message. We also have the group families checkbox available in this setup confirmation window. This checkbox determines the default setting for the other checkbox in our actual confirmations list. If this is checked, the group families checkbox in our confirmation list will default as checked. If this is unchecked, it will default as unchecked. So we say OK here on this window and we go back to our confirmations list. We can see group families is automatically checked here. The next option we have with the confirmations list is we can set the status of these appointments from the confirmation list. So if you wanted to call all of your patients on the list and confirm their appointments with them, you can absolutely do that. Let's say that we called Sally here and she didn't answer and we had to leave a message on her voicemail. We can select her appointment and choose the status of left message here. That will automatically change the status of Sally's appointment to left message. We can also select multiple appointments at the same time. So if we called on this whole list here and no one answered, we had to leave messages for everyone, we can just highlight all of these appointments and change them all to left message at the same time. And then the last option here in the upper right corner is not necessarily a filter option. This is where you determine the email address that you want your email confirmations to be sent from. If you leave it as practice slash clinic, it will be your practice's default email address or your clinic's default email address if you have clinics enabled. If you have additional email addresses added into Open Dental, you'll be able to select them here from this drop down menu if you want them. To, if you want your confirmation messages to come from a different email address. Down here on the bottom left of our confirmations list, we have the postcard preview option. This allows you to create postcards in Open Dental to send to your patients to confirm their appointments. So if I just highlight our top two patients here, and I go ahead and I select postcard preview, it will only show me the preview for those two postcards. And here I'm able to select print in the upper left corner if I would like to print this out. If I don't select any patients here in the list and I press the postcard preview button, it will generate a preview for all of the patients currently showing in the list. And again, we can print this out if needed.
similar thing here with the label preview. This allows you to create labels, address labels, to use to send your postcards with generally. So if we only wanted to generate some labels for our first two patients here, we can select them and then press label preview. And that will open up the label preview with only those two patients having a label created. We can again print that in the upper left corner. If I don't select any patients and I press the label preview button, it will generate a preview for all of the patients currently selected in our list. We can also change our postcard layout if we would like. Our postcard layout can be set up here under Setup, Appointments, and then Recall. If you would like more information on the recall setup, please see the link below this video in the description. If we go back to our confirmations list, we also have the ability to send patients emails directly from this list. Again, if we select these two patients, they will be the ones that will get the email. If we had more in the list here and we only selected those two, only the selected one will get the email. And if we don't select anything here, it will try to send an email to all of our patients. If you send an email to the patients from the confirmation list, it will automatically change the status for you of the appointment to emailed so that you can easily see that you have emailed that patient. You can also do a very similar thing here with texting if you have the e-service integrated texting. It will also automatically send those preset templates of a text message to your patient and it will change the confirmation status for you to texted. Email and text message are not secure methods of communication. We will also have a link below the video available for more information on our integrated texting feature if you're interested in finding out more about that. Another option that we have here inside of our confirmation list is that we can run a report based on this list. So if I press this run report button here, it will automatically have these standard fields highlighted. There are also these other available fields on the side. You just would need to highlight anything that you want to see for the patients on this confirmations list, any information you want about them. So if I wanted to see their billing type and credit type as well, I can go ahead and highlight that. And if I'm, maybe I didn't need to see their salutation or preferred name, I can unhighlight that from this side as well by holding down the control button on the keyboard and then clicking on the options I would like to unselect. Once I'm ready to actually run, run this report, I can go ahead and press OK. Once I press OK, it will run that report as a user query for you. And it will bring up all the information about those selected patients. If I have no patients selected in my confirmation list and I select run report, I can do a similar thing here. But it will show me all of the patients on the list instead of just my selected patient. This is a great way to maybe make a printable list to call your patients. You will be able to print off their home phone number and any other information you're wanting in your report. We also have the ability to just print this list. This will print the list exactly as it's displayed here with no additional information. We also have the ability to right click on our patients here in the confirmation list. If we right click on the patient, it will give you a list of options. 
select patient allows you to select this patient. If I choose that, it changes my selected patient on the top of Open Dental to Sally Watkins, the patient here. I also have the ability to choose C chart. If we choose C chart here, it will automatically take us to that patient's chart in the background of the appointments confirmation list. You can minimize this confirmation list and do any work that you need to do here in the patient's chart. The third option here when right clicking on a patient in the confirmation list is send to pin board. This will send the selected appointment to the pin board to be rescheduled. It will move it from its original appointment time. So if we go ahead and do that, it takes us back to the appointment module and puts that appointment directly on the pin board here so that we can reschedule it for a different time. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com and make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.